Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture in Theory of Computation and in this lecture we will be seeing an example about NFA and see how it behaves. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so here we have an example and this is the same example that we have seen in the last lecture and we will be analyzing this. So, this is actually an NFA that accepts the set of all strings that end with zero. So, this is what this NFA does. Now let us pass some strings to this as input and let us see how it behaves. So let us take two examples. The first one being 100. Zero, zero. So the first example is 100 zero, zero, and since it is a set of all strings that ends with 0, it should accept this string. Why? Because this string ends with 0. So let us see how this NFA behaves. So we always have to start with the starting state which is state A. So I am in state A. Right, I start from my starting state A. And what is the first input I get? Input is 1. On getting input 1, how does A behave? On getting input 1, what happens? A goes to itself. So on getting input 1, A goes to itself. That is A. We see from here. And then what is my next input? My next input is 0. My next input is 0. This one. So on getting input 0, where does A go? A goes to A itself and also A goes to B. There are two transitions. A, it can go either to A itself or it can also go to B. There are two transitions. A goes to either A or B on getting input 0. Alright, now we are in these two states. Right? And what is my next input? My next input is again 0. My next input is again 0. And what happens? Let's see. A on getting input 0, where does it go? A on getting input 0, it goes to A and B. Right? A on getting this input 0, again it goes to A itself. Right here. And it also goes to B also goes to B. And what about B? I have I, I am in two states over here. So I have to check for both the states. So A on getting input this input 0 it went to A and B. And what about B? B on getting input 0 where does it go? B on getting input 0 it goes nowhere. There is nothing mentioned. Means A goes nowhere. So I'll say that it goes to phi. Right? A does not go anywhere. Now is this accepted or not? How do we know? At the end of the string, that is at this 0, 1, 0, 0, when I reach the end of the string, what is my current state? I am in A, B. Is A an accepting state or final state? No, A is not. But is B an accepting state or final state? Yes, B is an accepting state or a final state. So, this string will be accepted. Why? Because if we are in either of the states where one state is an accepting state, then that string will be accepted. All right. We will write the. We will write down formally. How can we write it down formally? We will write it down after seeing one more example. In this example, let me try for the string zero one. Now, should this string be accepted by this NFA? No. Why? This NFA is supposed to accept only the set of strings that ends with 0. But this string ends with 1. So it should not be accepted. Now let's see how it behaves. We always start from the starting state that is state A. Okay. And this is my first input 0. Right. My first input is 0. And A on getting 0, where does it go? A goes to a itself and also it goes to B. A goes to A itself and A also goes to B. Right? Now I am in two states and I get my next input. And what is my next input? My next input is 1. On getting input 1, what happens to these two states? A, where does it go? A, it stays in itself. On getting input 1, a stays in itself. And what about B? On getting input 1, it goes nowhere. So, B goes to phi. 
now at the end I have reached the end of the string and at the end what is my position I am in state a and phi and is state a the accepting state or final state no it is not and phi is also not the accepting state so this string will not be accepted right this string will not be accepted now how can we formally write down when will a string be accepted so we can say that if there is any way to run the machine that ends in any set of states out of which at least one state is a final state then the NFA accepts when does an NFA accept when it ends in any set of states out of which at least one state is a final state look at this example we ended up in a set of states A and B out of which B B was a final state so this string was accepted and the sec in the second example we ended up in A and Phi where none of them were a accepting state so in this case the NFA rejected so this is what you have to remember when does an NFA accept when we end in any set of states out of which at least one state is a final state that is when an NFA accepts a given input all right so I hope this example made us clear what kind of strings or when does an NFA accept the strings or the inputs all right so in the next lectures we will be seeing more examples so thank you for watching and see you in the next one